Hey everybody and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video, I'm going to give you my top 5 hidden features in the Mac on Mountain Lion so you can learn from these and use these on a regular basis. So let's jump right into this video right away so you can learn these hidden features. Alright, so let's jump into our first tenon feature. So first, if you don't see this button up here, all you want to do is go into System Preferences, Keyboard, and check this box that says Show Keyboard and Character Viewers in Menu Bar. So let's exit out of System Preferences, and let's press on this icon right here. So first, let's show the Character Viewer. So all you want to do is press on that. I will show you this one in just a second. So right here, you can see that you have a bunch of different options and symbols and pictographs that you can add into your documents. So to show you how this works, let's open up TextEdit and make a new document. Alright, and now let's go into the format and let's make a rich text document. And let's increase the size so you can see what I'm doing. And there we go. So all you have to do is open up this window and all you have to do is drag and drop it into your document. So you can drag and drop different images. So we just added an airplane there. We can also add a baseball if we want. We can add a pencil. There's just a bunch of features that you can add into your documents, presentations, or YouTube titles, etc. So let's just try an emoji and see if this would work. Yeah, it does work, so that's pretty sweet. It has to be a rich text so it can display the colors and the details. So let's just uh, drag in this film slate here, or clapperboard, and you can see how cool that looks, and you can incorporate those into different documents, etc. So that's pretty cool how you can add that into your documents. So let's close out of this character viewer window, and let's go back to this icon on the menu bar and let's show the keyboard viewer. So this comes in handy when you have a touch screen and you just want to type using the on-screen keyboard and I'm sure that works but I don't know for sure. But you can try that out if you have a touch screen. So let's just write something using this keyboard and let's just say subscribe. It might take a little bit because because I don't have a touch screen. But that's pretty cool how you can use an on-screen keyboard and you can access all of your different settings. So that is pretty sweet how I can use the on-screen keyboard to go and open up dashboard and I can also use it to open up different things on my computer by using the function keys at the top. So that is pretty sweet how you can use this on-screen keyboard. But besides the on-screen keyboard, let's jump right into our second hidden feature. So let's delete that. All right, so now let's open up Notification Center. And you can see I have no new notifications. But you can also make sure that you don't receive any more by pressing the Show Alerts and Banner by scrolling up using your trackpad. So you can turn that off so you won't receive any notifications for the rest of the day, but they will turn back on tomorrow. And if you want to change the notification preferences, you can go down to this gear icon and it will open up system preferences in the notifications. So you can change the way your banners, alerts, or any of the like will function. So let's just say I want calendar to be a banner. You can do that very easily. So now let me show you some hidden feature in Safari. So let's open up a bunch of tabs here. And they demonstrated this on the preview of Mountain Line last year. So you can zoom out to preview your tabs in a nice grid layout like that. So that is pretty sweet how you can scroll through your web browsing tabs by using this visual layout. So that's pretty cool how you can do that by pressing on this button or just scrolling out. So that's pretty cool. So now let me jump into my fourth hidden feature on the Mac and let's customize the way the stack looks. 
So it's kind of a hidden feature to change the way your stack looks, but you can right click on the stack and you can change the way it looks. You can make it a stack, a folder, or you can change the way it looks. So let's just make it in a fan layout. So that's in a fan layout. You can make it in a grid layout. You can put in a list. And you can also make it automatic so it changes depending on the amount of items are in your stack. So that is pretty sweet how you can do that and customize your stack. So now let's move into our fifth hidden feature on the Mac. And I'm going to show you how you can use text edit and let me just show you a quick little preview of what you can do. So let's just open up this terminal document and you can press on the terminal thing at the top where the title is and you can rename it, move it, duplicate it, lock it, or browse all the versions of it. So that's pretty cool how you can see all of your documents when you change them, etc. So that's pretty cool. You can use that in Pages, Keynote, Numbers, and I'm sure some other programs support that as well. So that concludes the hidden features on your Mac using Mountain Lion. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this. Check out my other videos as well and follow me on Twitter at AKProFilms. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.